yeah, Zero Empire as the usual streamer is out being drunk for his birthday. Uh, he might even still be watching uh, <laughs> uh, Snay. Um, of course, you can't stop every out of sync problem, but thanks to user patch, uh, mm, the game has become so much more stable, which is really, really a fast improvement. Actually, the only times we have had uh, out of sync. Uh, things was because people uh, had the wrong version <laughs> which is fair okay right I'm back so we can start whenever Jordan's ready what kind of color are we going for uh, I don't know it would oh almost p forgot to pick the map Baltic Baltic all the settings are correctly yeah, I'm now wondering about the changes in Baltic, if there are any. I don't think Baltic has been changed almost at all. Just the universal changes for all the maps where that sheep distance, initial sheep distance is just... Is Pick your color, man! <laughs> 9 to 11 from 8 to 10, or from 10 to 12, actually. Yep. They are a little bit closer to prevent the fucked up starts. <laughs> And, and no, there is no, uh, I, I'm uh, kind of answering the stream right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't do voice chats. Uh, that's not built in at all. <laughs> Absolutely out of scope. Nice music. I love it. <laughs> uh, what I think will be the most popular Sif, I have no clue. I, I really like to play with... Uh, the Incas, they're just fun to play with. Um, uh, what else? Magyars are very aggressive. Uh, Slavs, I think, will be very popular on uh, closed maps. Uh, yeah, there's something for everything. And uh, then, of course, Italians, which are quite an all-round sieve. Uh, but they are ob obviously a good competition on the water maps. And then we have Indians, uh, which I personally can't really play with, but they are very interesting as well. I still need some uh, fine tuning. Yeah, I think I like Italians quite probably the most out of these new civilizations. But just judging by uh, judging by the architecture of the buildings and all that, oh, okay. <laughs> not really judging the playability of them. You don't care. You just want pretty things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's actually quite fair. Okay, this is uh, what's the map again? Okay, Baltic. Baltic. Baltic yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely going to be a map without hunting dogs. Yeah, we see Jordan is close to water here. Yeah, at this point I'm just... Like, after those four games, you, you are in a state in which you are just trying to come up with something new to say, but there's not really much that well, comes to mind can... at the moment. We you can actually see why Italians are good at water maps, <laughs> which might be interesting. Uh, they have uh, quite a few bonuses, I think. Uh, advancing to the age is 10% cheaper, so they can go to feudal age for 450 foot, which is well, quite a nice bonus. The technologies in the dock cost minus 50%, so a huge bonus. Uh, kicks in in castle age, but mainly in the imperial age. Uh, fishing ships have two line of sight, and even their uh, the last bonus, uh, gunpowder units cost min 15%. Uh, that applies to their cannon galleons. So actually, they all their bonuses apply to water, except their team bonus, of course. Oh, and even their unique tech, uh, Silk Road, trade units cost min 50%. Uh, applies to trade cocks. So, all round navy units, but they are quite decent on the water, uh, on land as well. And with quite decent, I mean that they actually rock. Yeah, I wonder if he's gonna get housed here. Oh, come on. <laughs> he went nice without loom, getting the boar without loom, and the dog <laughs> near the other boar, but he's gonna get housed definitely. <laughs> Unless I'm totally missing something, yeah. Nope, you didn't miss it. <laughs> Okay, so there he goes. Has to research Loom. 
there goes the advantage for. It's the fifth game, so it's totally understandable. Yes, yeah, so now the fishing ship going out, going out. It's interesting that Baltic, actually, the difference between Baltic and Mediterranean, for some of the people who may not be aware of it, is that Baltic, the water in Baltic reaches further into, to, near the edges. So oh. it's actually easier to wall mostly, most of the time. Okay. That's good because that probably means longer games. Yeah, so this means okay. going water in Baltic is more likely than going water in Mediterranean. Okay. But yeah, I picked. These, these I, guys, I was I was doubting which map to pick, uh, but I just wanted the longest game possible. Yeah. I think I picked the right one. Yeah, hopefully. I guess it is. Well, the, with these guys, it can always be a long game. Nope. I almost thought he was housed for a second time, but no. Yeah, he it was quite. It just right in town. You can see Viper's dog over there. Very close to each other. I hope. I sincerely hope that Jordan remembers that he can go to the feudal age faster. Yeah. I always forget it, so it's 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 a good bonus. So yeah, here, please don't forget it. Being this close to each other means they're gonna have to have the best uptime they can get, because normally on different in different maps you can usually uh, wait or there's usually takes some time before the enemy scouts your dock and finds your fishing boat, so you can fend them off even if you up later, but. Here it's gonna Seems be like you remembered it perfectly. Great. Oh right, the yeah, the cheaper yeah, the uh, feudal. Cheap up, yeah. mm -hmm. Because I was, uh, it was such a mess under his town center. All those dead sheep and all those villagers hacking on them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it had a function. He just needed to get the food as fast as possible. Okay, so obviously he's going for Grush. Yes, there's yeah, there's no real other option uh, on Baltic, of course. Well, there is, but I wonder it that would be kind of weird to not go for a Grush if you're Italians. He's kind of, I don't know if it's safe not to wall it or to wall it this late, you know, because knowing Viper, he could just sneak. Yeah, indeed, Viper could, could sneak think, in a villager. I can't win against Italians on water, and yeah. Uh, go land straight away. And it's not like he's scouting this side very much or keeping track of what goes through here. I think he will be back in time. Uh, he's uh, almost done a tour around the lake. Yeah, I mean, seeing any possible sneaking in him. Yep. Or maybe he's checking with the palisade. Oh yeah, of course. Like we, if... we can't see exactly where he's clicking. There we go! Yeah. So fast, 10 minutes. Okay, so Gully is going up, going out. From two ducks only at the moment, so. Adding a third duck now. So it's gonna be about who micros and who can get the numbers up faster. Well, uh, Viber is still in, in Dark Age, I think. Oh, is he? I didn't. I, I don't I didn't see him go up. No, he hasn't gone up yet. So. <laughs> I okay. think this this is going to be a landslide victory on the water at least. Yeah, housed again. Or almost. I'm not sure what he's is he really trying to go for a fast castle? Well that's the thing, it's not safe here when you have the water you have nowhere to run. I mean, if you try to go later feudal, you have basically nowhere to well, run with. Well, maybe he, he's uh, just willing to try if uh, fire ships now pay off. I mean, he is in the lead. Yeah. Uh, the games are for fun, so why the hell not? Yeah, it's possible, but he's not bowling either, apparently. I mean, nope. you, can, you can see the scout can get all the way through. Neither of them is bowling. That's interesting, actually. I mean, if they really are banking on the fact that the other person will not go land, that they, they will both crash. <laughs> because like, if one of them sneaked in, that would be quite deadly. Also, it's not like there are a lot of fish in this, because it's one. No, v1. it's quite empty. Yeah, it's one. Oh, well, but this something is a big small. advantage. So it's not that huge. 
I mean, you can still get like 10, 15 -ish fishing ships, but you run out much faster. There's a long discussion about um, Kamayuks at the moment. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Kamayuks uh, really are good against infantry, against most infantry. Uh, they kill Huskarls, I think. They kill champions. They kill. Um, yeah. Yeah. They kill a lot. Let's we can like see that. Viper having like seven villagers in gold here in the back. So That's... I think Viper's just uh, Jordan's scouting it now to see. Oh, and the, the market, the most important market. And so he's, he's absolutely going fast castle. He's landing. Jordan, Jordan's landing him with an archer Nothing. range. This is going to be interesting. I mean, one fire ship would kill off uh, whatever navy he has there. So, yeah. Luckily, it's not that much, but it's something. Yeah. Then again, he just lost those four fishing boats at the start. Well, yeah, but if he can pay them back, so mm -hmm. it's kind of something. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, it's a disadvantage, but. Uh... We'll see if it is a risk worth taking. Also wondering what Jordan is doing here because he's making some archers, but he's got no villagers on gold here. Yep, and we're in the castle age. While Jordan is going for fu full feudal. Oh, stupid move from Jordan losing his scout. <laughs> well, stupid is a bit harsh. Careless Retarded against. move. Damn it! <laughs> oh, not sure what that tower is going to do. Yeah, not much because it's not like he's ma he's not advancing skirmishers because he's falling behind with the gold production there. Five villagers, no second, no upgrade. Uh, Viper now putting his tower oh. up. It's up faster. He's now. Microing with this archer so that it absorbs all the That was a nice fire. move. <laughs> yeah, but still. That's looking bad. I mean, he is an age behind. Uh, Byzantines have free cartography. Um, what do I say? A free town watch, so that tower was visible yep. for ages. And the fire ship's now doing a quick job of this. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, Jordan's not even trying to reclaim the water here, he's just giving yeah, it up. Yeah, he can't, he just can't. And Mangonel here is gonna take out these archers and skirmishers as soon as it takes out the tower, he should be repairing it. I'm not sure if Jordan can actually push with this, because he only has archers slash skirmishers. Yeah, indeed. He's mining now lots of gold, but still hasn't got the upgrade. He's not walled, he's lost water. <laughs> yeah, it's looking quite shitty. Let's be like that. I don't know how he's going to plan to battle this. I mean, he's got just skirmishers and archers, and there are mangonels. And vipers obviously in castles. So yeah, and they're okay. attacking houses, not, not villagers. Yeah, so his economy can also be uh, superior at this point, because he's got more than one town center. Yep, and he can fish again. <laughs> he can fish again, yeah. He can get all the upgrades. The tower is lost now, and Jordan's retreating here to the back, making a stable. So it's yeah, a stable and two course. archer ranges. So he's still going heavily into feudal army. Probably can't afford to go up at this point. But if Jordan, if Viper sneaks some kind of army, some kind of knights or something here in the back, his Jordan's economy is totally unprotected, and he's on vault. Yep. So all Viper has to do is get something mobile into his Ooh. economy, and I'm not sure. That was close. <laughs> yeah, that Mangonel? Yep. Yeah. He hasn't lost any archer, though. Yeah, but he hasn't really done any damage either. No, true. It's not like he can do any damage to a castle economy with Mangonels and towers. Yeah, indeed. With he's, just this uh... combo. It's he really, really looking. needs to get to the next stage. It's not looking very hopeful. Although his well, his score is good. Yeah, his score is good. <laughs> and he has a better economy. That's that. That's I think ex exploration also plays a certain role in that. Well, I I wouldn't say that the exploration would make two hundred points. No, not. But okay. I mean, he killed villagers. Uh, <laughs> not a lot, but uh, 
Viper didn't kill a single villager. Or yes, he did in the tower, of course. He has to look out with those archers, though. Ooh, nice. Come on, pick off him. That's you can nice. see a scorpion now from Viper. Yep. The thing is with scorpions, they always look so enormously strong if there goes a bolt through your army, but yeah. they do that many damage. It's just a scary impression they make. It looks really scary, but it's getting less scary than it looks. Yeah, and now you can see Viper being almost 300 points ahead. Yep. It goes fast. Yeah, and it Jordan is nowhere near going castle. No, no, absolutely. Well, he's going full uh, feudal. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Or scout, so... And yeah, I'm just that's... waiting for the moment that Ju that Viper's army appears, shows up in his economy. Monks? Uh, yep, monks. Yeah, now immediately countered by the scout cavalry, but as long as they stick around the TCs, they should be fine. Oh, now we managed to catch off, if he can notice it. At the top there, the Ooh. archers. Yeah, uh, he did. Quickly walled by uh, Viper. Yeah, I'm looking at the top there. The oh, the there. Oh, stone. nice. Yeah, that's uh, four dead villagers, likely. <laughs> yeah, they're running the other way. <clears throat> He's probably going to catch them with this army in the back. I'm not sure. He's doing nice, actually yeah, totally disrupting yeah, Viper. Cons considering he's still feudal and he lost the water, he's... He's doing a fine job. He, he's doing a fine speaking job, of villagers, yeah. so... Oh, but is that a thousand they're going up? Yep, it is. Yeah, he's managing to really make use of that army, hitting multiple spots. Now, pushing with towers, he's... I like this game. <laughs> And now the score uh, is actually swinging back into uh, Jordan's advantage. Only slightly, but it's... I mean... Yeah. New mangonel incoming. Well, yeah, Viper is sort of... Yes, look out with those archers there. Oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was watching it, I was thinking, no, you're not watching. <laughs> I'm wondering if Viper is expanding over to this side, because... He definitely could. It's well, like... I don't know. He, he he doesn't really have a big economy. He, he lost quite a bit. He had to exactly run around like... the whole time, so... It's not exactly like he's pushed into a corner. Lost his tower there. I am still no... Well, he's going quite close to the castle edge now. Still no counter-attack from Viper in Jordan's economy. Yeah. I mean, just a couple of something. Lights, light cover or something would... It would do a lot, but maybe Viper just can't afford it. That's a very fair thing as yeah. well. So he's investing all of his efforts into... Oh, nice. Speaking of the monk. Yeah. <laughs> Poor old man. Going castle now. So we'll see what he does. Two stables, two archer ranges. Ooh. Yeah. If he had was kind of expected. That, if he had gone for that monk earlier, he would have gotten oh, it. Okay. Jordan actually forgot the villager in his town center, which is now just yeah, sitting there enjoying the view. Not anymore. Not Stream anymore. cheating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or just using the idle villager button like a real <laughs> player should do. Yeah, villager is just there enjoying the view, that's awesome. <laughs> He's trying to uh, he make doesn't another... have cavalry at the moment? Who? Your Jordan? Okay, he's going to invest in cavalry. He's now yeah, doing uh, bloodlines. And gonna make a third stable somewhere down here. Yeah, that's definitely nice. Yeah, there's a watchtower that he started building and it's probably gonna get... Oh, that's the okay, second okay. time he loses a tower like that. Yeah, it's lots of resources. Yep. It's a shame. Yeah, he should probably 250 uh, stone. <laughs> and he should rebuild his lumber camps too, I think. Yep. Unless he's probably making a TC here, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, as case, expected. This, 
this one should be. Yeah, anyway, I'm noticing the little things. And there it is, okay. Yeah, the Final counter attack. Some kind of counter attack. Quickly. And that's yeah. even, that's even better me. than cavalry. Yeah, indeed. Because otherwise, uh, a single monk could uh, easily take it out. Yeah. And that's really not doing the dif it's really not making the difference, you see. In the score lead, and now he has to get a mango down here. And Viper's gonna Ooh. be able to split that army, pick off a lot of villagers with it. Well, so far he doesn't—he hasn't done too much damage, yes. Yeah, he's on—he's doing damage with the. Oh yeah, he's making him there. move all those villagers and making his farming use useless. Here, at the top, and now knights. Yep, knights. He has to do something against those uh, uh, onagers. Oh, nice. Picking off the stone uh, uh, miners again. I, I missed that, I think. Oh, oh that, no, he's yeah. doing it uh, right now. Yeah, he's doing the other thing. Place. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're enjoying that. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it's a fun. bloody war. One, two, oh, three. <laughs> Yeah, this is a typical Viper, sneaking two crossbow ones somewhere here in the back that you just don't happen to notice. And they can do actually so much damage over a longer period of time. Well, it must be said, those four uh, crossbow men that uh, Jordan sent out did quite a bit of damage as well. Yeah. They're gonna die now, but <laughs> still. That was ironic. Yeah. <laughs> So it is a lot of idols for yeah, Jordan. They're gonna, they are doing a lot of damage. They're gonna die now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Still keeping the towers going here. So, well, it is quite effective. Yeah. Stable coming up from Jordan, uh, from Viper. Oh, okay, yeah, he really face. needs that. <laughs> so, yeah, they're both having this stable archer range combination with mangonels, some scorpions, and monks. Monks? Oh, that seems weird. Well, only two monks at the moment. Well, still, that's, that's a possible conversion of two knights. Yeah. Now he's going in monk. Monastery. I was going to say a monastery as well. A siege workshop. Oh, okay. Split yeah, second. I was thinking. Oh, okay. that knight <laughs> killed the siege. Yeah. Yeah. Now he can really see how Viper's economy is superior. So they're both attacking, both doing well in terms of micro and picking up villagers and doing damage with the armies they have in each other's town, but Viper's economy is now benefiting from both the water and the fact that he was up in castle much earlier than Jordan. Well, if he is fishing, because uh, the fish are still uh, jumping up and down, so I doubt he is actually fishing. You doubt? Yeah, that's true. And Jordan's actually got one, one uh, galley in the seas that he could take yeah, so has fishing ships with. It's actually looking quite bad for uh, Jordan now. Yeah. <laughs> Not only score-wise, but... Yeah, I think he's sending all the army back now. All the army that was left two nights. So he's going to focus now purely on his town. Getting that into order. And all these mm. all these crossbowmen are just standing around on stand ground. Yep, absolutely. Just restricting his freedom. You know, basically not allowing him to farm out here. Then again, those two knights can easily clean up all of them. Yeah, it's just that so much yeah, time saw it. <laughs> and so much time lost, so much, so many villagers just being garrisoned the whole time. That really slows down Georgian Georgian's economy. 
Yeah, absolutely. And when you, when you see Viper's economy, it's not being harassed as much. Well, I see that villager now <laughs> at this very point, but still, of course, you make a point. Hmm. Looking so bad for Jordan at the moment. Yeah, we can see a lot of army, uh, big army from Viper at the bottom as well. Now trying to, oh, really yeah. to push back and the towers. And that's skirmishers. And Jordan's trying to wall up the tower so that it can... And that's too late, I'm afraid. Yeah, of course you need a boat. I mean, you need eight walls, I think, to get it completely sealed off. Yeah. And walling is much slower in AOF Egypt, so... Yep. Now the that's ram managed fine. to get to it. There are some mangonels here in the back with some crossbowmen, but they're not going to be able to take out this army, I think. And well, I think they could with some nicely aimed shots. But yeah, it depends on who's going to be paying the attention here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he's lucky, he can take out all the skirmishes with those mangonels, of course. But... Oh, I think it's GG, actually. <laughs> yeah, because he's just losing... He's losing both fronts at this point, so... Yeah. Yeah, now he's losing here. And he's retreating with the mangonels. The ramps coming out. But not making it. It's actually quite still... I mean, Viper's still in the lead. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but... Jordan's doing quite impressive. He's doing quite well, yeah, yeah. But I I don't really give a dime for his chances at the moment. Yeah. Because he doesn't really have an army production at this time. He has only been defending with some monks, but uh, Viper actually has a big base there. Yeah, defending with what he can. And now Viper's economy is going strong because it's not being... It's not under any pressure at this point. I mean, the economy is pretty much safe for Viper. Yep. While Jordan's economy is under a lot of pressure, lots of villages being garrisoned, lots of villages dying all around the town centers. And he's not just unable to sustain the production of uh, units at this point, I think. And just being yep. outnumbered here. Yep, all Viper needs is some siege at the top so that he can. Push or again wipe out Jordan's base, starting with this town center. A ram coming up now, and yep, there we go. Well, GG. It's okay. I'm not going to take over, I think. I'll just yeah. resign as well. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, if you like look at the Viper's economy, it's just uh, at this point, it's much, much more extensive and not being harassed. So, well done, well done. Yeah, what I also like is that even though the Byzantine, uh, the Italian set is clearly based on the Indian sets, they're so distinctive. Yeah, he was fishing, only seven fishing boats, but... Oh, he did, okay. That's still quite enough, and he was using these deer all the way on the right, they're like a group of eight deer. Oh, yeah, and nice. And the shore fish, so that's quite nice as well. I wonder use. if he did uh, hunting dogs for that, I mean, that would absolutely boost the... Yeah, but it's nice to use the terrain like that. Just to find, even in Castle Age or something, just to find such a yep, yep, group yep. of deer or something and use it with the mill and taking the oh, short right. fish. Well, that's it for uh, tonight. Yep. 